What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. So today we're going to talk about how to create a speaker group. Now the reason I'm doing this is I went ahead and I added another smart speaker to the household here. And what happens sometimes is when you get new things, you have to redo systems. So basically I'm starting from scratch here. I deleted my speaker group and I'm going to create a new one so we can include this new device. So a speaker group is really cool because what you're doing is you are connecting all your smart speakers together and then you're playing audio through all of them and the audio is syncing. So as you're walking through your household from room to room, ideally you're going to have a speaker in each room and whatever you're listening to is going to continue to play as you go through those rooms. Now, of course, you're going to need smart speakers and you're going to need the Google Home app to set those up. But once you have everything, then you can actually create a speaker group. So I'm going to show you what's going on on the screen so you can follow along and see how to do this. So we're going to look for the Google Home app, which I already downloaded because we have all these devices. So this is already on the phone. We're going to open that up. And then on the top left, you're going to see a plus icon. You're going to tap that. Now, if you look at the options here, we got quite a few. We've got set up a new device, invite home member, create speaker group. That's the one we're going to touch, the create speaker group. And this is super easy, it's super convenient. You can see all the items appear here that you can actually use in a speaker group. So whatever we're gonna click here, it's basically going to link them all together so the audio plays all together in sync. So basically I want everything but my TV. So I'm going to tap these four items here and then we're going to click next. Now on the next page, you can go ahead and name your speaker group. And I try to keep mine all consistent. So I'm just going to name this one AIM5. It's an abbreviation and I'm going to hit save. So now you see that the group is successfully created. Now, of course, we want to go ahead and try this out. So we're going to back out here and I'm going to look for some music to play and we're going to walk around to the different rooms here and see how this works. OK, so here we are. We have a track I'm going to play. We're going to cast it to the speaker group here and we're in Google Play Music. Now, as you can see on the screen here, we have an icon in the middle and it looks like a box with a Wi-Fi signal kind of thing going on there. That's what we're going to tap and that's going to cast the music to all the speakers in that speaker group. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that cast icon and we're going to hit aim five. That's a speaker group I created and now it's all connected. So now if I go ahead and hit the play button, the music should play to all the speakers. Now playing walk on spheres from the album source by Saint 24. Now, the interesting thing here is that the music isn't going to play through the phone itself. It's playing to all the speakers. So anyways, let's go ahead and walk to each room and I can show off how this is working. So here we are with the first speaker and this is in the room where I make the YouTube videos. So you can see this one is going. Now here we are in the bathroom and we've got the same song playing on this smart display. And we can actually swipe up here. We can press that volume control and we can control the volume by hand there. Now it's only gonna change the volume on this speaker, not all the other ones. So you have to go around and adjust the volume on each speaker individually. Now here we are in the living room and I have another smart display here and it's playing the same song again. And last but not least, we're in the kitchen and we've got another speaker here. And again, the song is continuing onto this device also. Okay, Stop casting music. So you can see that you can stop all the music here as well. Now there are probably other little things you could do here, but I keep things pretty simple. I just cast straight from the phone to the devices that I want to cast to. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are a few ways to support the channel. The first way is to head on over to my Amazon storefront by clicking on the link in the description below. Now, anything that I put on the storefront are things 
that I have bought or that I'm interested in buying. So you're only gonna see high quality items on there. And anything that you do purchase off the storefront, it does support the channel. But next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the next way you can support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Now liking and subscribing are also important for those who are new to the channel. If they see a lot of likes and subscribers, they'll think that the videos are good and the channel's worth sticking around for. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.